Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, let's 100% Fallout 3. In the last episode, we made it to Robco. We have to do the Wasteland Survival Guide. We have to optionally reprogram the Robco facility mainframe. And to do that, we need 50 science, of which we have. Please be high, please be high, please be, please be high. Oh, God. Okay, so that sucks. That basically means that we're going to have to completely switch gears and get science up there to 50. Now, there's obviously ways to increase it uh, with equipment, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, 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 you know, drugs and stuff like that. But, yeah, so basically, we're not going to be able to do that. So basically, we're going to have to get out of here and hope that that... Oh, my God! Uh, oh, wow, 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 wow. I am not used to playing this on keyboard and mouse, and I just realized I completely forgot which button is our stim packs. Where is our our stim packs? One, two, we're going to use a stealth boy, especially because they weigh one each. You can condense our carry weight. Excuse me, gentlemen. Huh. Excuse me, gentlemen. Got to just squeeze right past you if you don't mind. Okay. Oh. So also, I don't remember how the heck to get out of here. Okay, so let's take a look at our optional objective. Let's take a look at our quest, actually. Return to Moira, optional, reprogram the Robco facility mainframe. Okay, we cannot talk to Moira until we get 50 science, and we're going to have to come back here to the Robco facility. How did you see me? I've got a stone Whoa! I've got a stone boy. What is wrong? Oh, man, I'm about to die. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, man, I'm really feeling these non... Really feeling not having, uh, not ha oh my god, I'm really feeling not having any medicine. Ooh, 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 wow. Man, that was extremely difficult, much more than I, much, much more so than I thought it was going to be. Holy freaking moly. Okay, put this away, immediately pop a, immediately pop a stealth boy. Couple of purified waters, which is HP. Oh, this one's not over time. In New Vegas, isn't it over time? Okay, I'm hidden now. We're gonna hold our pit boy light to turn that off. That's probably gonna help a bit. Huh? Okay, excuse me, gentlemen. Just gonna pass here real quickly, if you don't mind. Thank you so much. What I'm really worried about is that. What is happening? What I'm really worried about is that we leave here. Oh my god, this is such a cluster F, man. Just things exploding. I, I think it's like a protectron colliding with something, but I'm not sure what. Anyways, uh, yeah, this really sucks. We're gonna have to come back with 50 science. What is happening right now? Gonna have to come back with 50 science uh, to do this optional objective just because I'm super duper duper keen on getting all the optional stuff completed. Oh my god! I cannot believe it's this difficult, especially with, like, a, st a stealth boy and everything. I should be able to just walk right... Okay, we're gonna give it one last shot here. Items. Stealth boy. Three stim packs. Like, how many stim packs do I need to use to be at full health? Man, our medicine is lacking. Huh. Okay. Press R to put our little fist away. Thank you. And I guess we'll just crouch out of here. This place was such a nightmare to navigate, too. There's just room after room after room filled with literally nothing. It was, it was very unfortunate, actually. It was a, quite a disappointing place. I was like, oh, Robco facility. Probably going to get a lot of info about Robco and, you know, the production and everything like that. And we're going to get to learn about the Protectrons and, like, nothing. There's, like, not even one terminal. There's a whole bunch of skill books. Okay, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, I genuinely cannot believe how difficult it is to get out of here. That's insane. Uh, okay. Yeah, so what I'm really worried about is that we leave and that it just completes the optional objective. Which is going to really, really, really suck. Or not let us complete it, basically. Uh, but yeah, as long as we don't talk to Moira, I'm hoping that... Okay, let's jump down here. Huh? I'm gonna go ahead and break. I'm gonna go ahead and make a break for it. Oh, this is a combat zone? You don't say. Okay, I do not remember how to get out of here either. And they're dealing so much damage to us. Okay, excuse me. The number one thing that I do, the number one thing that I'm really good at in video games is kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off and just getting lost and lost and lost and lost and lost. And lost. Try not to touch the robots as well because I want to see if we can come back and reprogram them, if we can kind of deal with them in one fell swoop, and I don't want that optional objective to get kind of messed up here. Okay, so here we are. Now, can we escape? Good. All right, so let's take a look at our quest, shall we? Uh -huh. And it should still be there, right? Optional reprogram the Robco facility mainframe. So this is what sucks about trying to do everything in 
Fallout games is because if you get checked by one of these, you know, one of these optional things that you really want to do, con congratulations, now you just have to wait until you can pump enough points into that one thing. Now again, Mentats will help us if we eat some Mentats, our intelligence goes up and then that, you know, transfers to science, but uh, 29 points is far too much, so we're going to definitely need at least one level up, I guess. So, instead, let's do those. Find Brian Wilkes's father. Or find Brian Wilkes' father. So if you remember when we were having a shootout with Talon Company, it looks like it's over there near Grey Ditch, or in Grey Ditch specifically. Wilhelm's Wharf, is that a little bit faster? I don't like going near anything that's near these, like, uh, highlighted zones. Because basically we're going to get shot at by super mutants and uh, even worse stuff. Okay. Let's head out. Man, it just feels like I use 4,000 stim packs and still my health is perpetually at like halfway there. Let's use a couple more purified waters. A one and a two and a three. Oh yeah, it's the thing of like you keep dying and you forget what you do in between deaths. All right, anyways, if you remember, we having a we were having a, a shootout with Talon Company Mercs over there at Super Duper Mart, and then Brian Wilkes ran up to us and was explaining that in his hometown of Grey Ditch, there was an attack by massive ants. So we're gonna head on over to Grey Ditch. We told him to be safe and wait in like a I think like a, a thingamajig. I don't want to give it up. I know what it is, but I don't want to spoil anything about this playthrough. A lot of the time, people give me comments like, "GB, why do you care about spoiling this really old game?" Because there are still people that are experiencing this for the first time, and you would be surprised, as I've said, about, about the amount of people that have said, you know, "Hey, why did you spoil this thing? I was enjoying it. And I didn't know, you know, what was gonna happen." So yeah, I try to err on the side of not spoiling, basically. Okay, uh, let's see. What do we have in the way of weapons currently? What was our go-to? The combat shotgun we have no more ammo for. We've got our hunting rifle. Yeah, let's stick with that, I suppose. Even though we do, like, no damage, right? Okay. Hi there. Oh, yeah, you're okay. You're a fire ant. Duh. All right, so these are the uh, fire ants that we've heard so much about. And also, if you remember... Right. Oh my god, we our gun feels so bad. It's like if we have our cursor directly on the ant, it'll just go so wide. Anyways, yeah, so these things breathe fire. And if you remember right, Brian Wilkes was telling us that I think his dad was talking about the antenna on these ants, right? So it's gonna be tough. Ant meat and fire ant nectar. Oh, we gotta level up already. Hell yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to go science here. Because it's going to be a thing of, like, having too much to keep track of in terms of the 100%. So, yeah, if we see an objective that we're going to need to go for, we're just going to have to make that a priority. So, we have 21 skill points, which actually, oh, that might... Oh, okay, I've never done this with, like, a mouse and keyboard. 42 points. We're 8 points off of the 50 check, but that might work with... Magazines are in New Vegas, not in 3, right? That might work with, uh, if we get, like, a Mentats. Okay, continue, and then what do we have here? We got a whole bunch of new perks now. Toughness. With the toughness perk, you gain 10% to overall damage resistance, up to a maximum of 85%. Lead belly. With the lead belly perk, you take 50% less radiation every time you drink from an irradiated water source. Uh, no thank you. Gunslinger. While using a pistol or similar one-handed weapon, your accuracy in vats is significantly increased. Demolition expert. With each rank of this perk, all of your explosive weapons do an additional 20% more damage. Well, dang, I mean... Bloody Mess. With the Bloody Mess perk, characters and creatures you kill will often explode into a red, gut-ridden, eyeball-strewn paste. Fun! Oh, and you'll do 5% extra damage with all weapons. Basically, this is a must-take, pretty much. You can't play Fallout and not take this. It's a reference to the original Fallout 1, by the way. Each rank, speech and barter by 5. Additional 5 points of unarmed damage. No thank you. Uh, additional 50% damage every time you attack a mutated insect like the rad roach, giant ant, or rat. <laughs> this would be actually fantastic for the quest we're about to do. Uh, one additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. Again, I feel like this is not needed. I could be wrong, though. There's science, which would help quite a bit, but we'll still be a little bit off. And then intense training, which we could add to intelligence. I think we have to just go for bloody mess. Like I said, it's basically, it's basically a rite of passage, I feel like, when you play Fallout. So yeah, basically when we kill things, they do explode into an unbelievably gory mess now. Welcome to Grey Ditch, boy! Uh, but that 5% extra damage with everything is pretty nice too. And we also have to get that, uh, we have to get that demolitions expert. Anything that adds to the flavor of our character is pretty much what I always try to go for. Also, holy moly, how do we get a freaking heavy weapon? That is what we mainly, yeah, look at that. My cursor's like right over him and nothing twice in a row. 
this guy. Okay, that's a lot of damage, though. Ooh, that's a lot. See, there's the gut-ridden paste. Yeah. Okay, nothing on that guy. Uh, yeah, lots and lots and What's lots of ants here. What? Oh, disgusting. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Activate Pawowski, Pawowski Preservation Shelter, which, no joke, when Brian Wilkes was talking to us about that, I was thinking, like, literally, <laughs> like, wait a second, is that a suicide booth? And then, and then I just realized, oh, no, that's Futurama, duh. Oh, my God, yeah, how inaccurate are small guns is, is, like, something that I'm not used to whatsoever. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, um, so, yeah, we were talking to Brian Wilkes. He mentioned his dad talking about, okay, man, you need to be accurate. I know it's based off your small gun skill, but holy moly. Like, I, I go like this, and it goes, Phew! like, that way, 4,000 4, miles to the left. Hiya! There we go. Uh, anyways, yeah, so if we go for the antenna on the fire ants, I think it's ba basically they'll frenzy. They'll attack their friends. Now, this is a small one, so I feel like this one's a lot easier to take out. Yeah, a lot less health on this one. Okay, holy crap. Uh, so, anyways... Also, uh, yeah, we don't have that much ammo left with this hunting rifle, so we'll stick with this for now. Uh, I am not gonna activate this, because I feel like, yeah, we should keep him safe. Also, he meant, he gave us a key to somebody, to the back of somebody's house, didn't he? We're gonna do a little bit of exploration. Huh! Uh, because, yeah, I don't, I've never typically, ooh! Okay, see, we got a Nuka-Cola Quantum there. Uh, so yeah, if I remember right, you always want to check the Nuka-Cola machines, because just like drinking the Sunset Sarsaparillas, in New Vegas, there is a chance. Yeah, here we go. That's what I thought. I thought it was behind the diner. There is a chance that you can get a Nuka Cola Quantum out of a Nuka Cola machine. I think it's a random chance, so it's not in every one. So yeah, you definitely want to check like each and every one because Nuka Cola Quantums are the uh, collectible in this game, basically that you want to keep an eye out for. Okay, so Brian Wilkes gave us a key, and then we get whoa. Well, uh, hell yes, dude. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna have enough carry weight for that. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna have to drop some stuff, but that's fine. Let's see. Items, weapons, and what do we have here? Let's. How much does the assault rifle weigh? Seven. We'll drop that. Although we have a ton of ammo for it. Hmm. Value forty-four for this thing, and it also weighs seven. We also have no ammo, so I think we drop this. Yeah, and then, yeah, now we have a ton of grenades and a ton of frag mines. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, well, yeah, let's just stick with the frag mines then. Or, no, yeah, we'll stick with the hunting rifle until we run out of ammo. Okay, so, yeah, make sure to pass the speech check with Brian. and You can get access to that, which I guess you need to pass the speech check since you need the key. But, yeah, I want to explore Great Itch a bit because uh, I've never really played this game and explored all that much. I've always gone, you know, kind of directly to the, directly to the uh, objectives as usual which is not a very fun way to play a Bethesda game. I mean, it's a fun way to play, but when you've played it, played Bethesda games as much as I have, you know, clearly you want to switch it up. All right, let's put this away. And then what is our current goal? What are we doing? The quest is called Those. And it's a reference to, I think, uh, a movie called These, uh, with, like, giant bugs, like an old corny movie. Find Brian Wilkes' father. Okay. Let us do that. So we have Open Door to Wilkes' House. We're not going to sneak. I have to get out of the sneak, the sneak uh, habit. Deliver the bad news to Brian Wilk. Okay, what bad news? We haven't seen anything yet. I mean, I can guess, obviously, but yeah, don't just spoil stuff, video game. Well, okay, there's Fred Wilkes. He's dead. Uh, Fred Wilkes, Fred Wilkes, I don't remember. Was he a bad father? He at least was like very, he at least was very kind of like rough around the edges, right? Chinese assault rifle is better than the assault rifle, if I remember correctly, actually. And I don't know if that's the first one we found. So we'll go to items. We'll drop the normal assault rifle. Uh, should we drop anything else? Let's drop some of these mines, because we have too many, I think. Let's drop 14, because they weigh what? They weigh 0.5 pounds each. Yeah, so let's clear up some more carry weight there. Okay, well, yeah, Brian Wilkes is dead. Fred Wilkes did not survive here, but he's got a shack key at the very least. Let's see if he's got anything else in here. Looks like he took out a couple of fully grown fire ants, though, so good for good for Fred. Blam, co mac and cheese, junk food, and squirrel stew. Uh, we do have that uh, food processor, right? So we do have more of an incentive to eat bad foods, but or to eat irradiated foods, but still trying to avoid that, unless we have to. Let's see, we got a garden gnome, got a couple of metal crates, got another ammunition box with 32 caliber round. We've got 32 caliber rounds there and a 32 pistol, but we already had like, what, a scoped magnum, right? Which I forget what, what, uh, you might use 44? I don't remember which ammo type that uses. Okay, so now I gotta go tell Brian that his dear dad has, 
uh, his dear dad has been killed by fire ants. That's what the shack key's for, for sure. Uh, let's put this away. Um, anyone out there? Hello? Come on, tell me already. I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? Brian, I'm sorry, but your father's dead. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. Jeez, Brian, you've toughened up quite quickly. Uh, let's see here. I'll stop whatever started this. I promise you. Fine, I'll take care of everything. Why don't you just forget about it and clear on out of here? Oh, that would be horrible advice. My part in this is all done. People die all the time. Get used to it. I mean, he sounded like he's getting used to it. <laughs> what kind of advice is this? Uh, I'll stop whatever started this. I promise you. You gotta stop it. So this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Brian, you're a good kid, even though you interrupted that insane gunfight. We do have that uh, child at heart perk, don't we? Where we, we where we get special dialogue, but I guess that hasn't happened yet. I have to go now. If you look around enough in Great Itch, you might find some useful stuff people left behind. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's what I want to do, too. I want to take a look around Great Itch and see if we can find any, like, uniques or anything, because I don't remember whatsoever. I think I've kind of just done this quest in one fell swoop, and that's about it. Uh, but okay, yeah, we have to use the shack key, but maybe we should explore a little tiny bit before we head inside. I'm not sure what is and is not explorable, however. Oh! Oh man, we have a couple of ants coming up on our, coming up on our trail! Uh, okay, if you could come over here. So anyways, yeah, if you, oh wait! Yeah, okay, so if we, um, if we use that, I'm not gonna actually use it, but I wanna see. We should be able to target their antenna, right? Although, where is it? Right there. So if we hit these, like, little uh, creepy crawly antennas, uh, yeah, I think they frenzy and they attack anything, which is good for us, because obviously, you know, they'll attack their friends. So obviously very, very difficult without vats, which I'm trying not to use. Somebody left a comment, why aren't you using vats? Uh, basically, yeah, just for the added challenge. Okay, where was our, was it six for our frag grenades? Yes, and then what, eight for our frag mines? Okay, we'll use those first. Uh, here, this is for you. You just walk straight into that. You're going to get a lovely surprise. Fantastic. Also, you hello as I walk into the fire. Okay, that works. So, oh, but he's not. Wow, that really didn't deal all that much damage. Oh, look at that. We did get the antenna there. Yeah, so now they're attacking each other. So, one of these mines blew up on uh, on one of their antennas. Okay, that's going to be fun. Yeah, one of the mines blew up their antennas, and so now they're attacking each other, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go for you, because I think you're the one with the more health. Yeah. Oh, my God. You are bold. There we go. That worked out quite nicely. Okay. And what do you have? Ant meat? No, thanks. And what do you have? Fire ant nectar and ant meat, which is rads plus two, HP plus six. Yeah. They, they really do want you to interact with that stuff, but I just have such a hard stuck habit. Door to abandoned home. Okay, I wanted to explore, like, one room at least before we move on here. Uh, Mentats! Ooh, that might do it! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I was gonna say, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck having to go track down some Mentats. Uh, energy cells. Sweet. We have here a 10 millimeter pistol and a pool cue and a guns and bullets. Yeah, so magazines were temporary increases to stats in Fallout New Vegas, uh, but in, in Fallout, uh, 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 3... Yeah, you just have to use the books themselves, which are permanent. So where was that? Guns and bullets. Bam, which is a small guns increase. Let's also drop all of this uh, all of this food, because I don't honestly think I'm going to use it. Or maybe, yeah, you know what? Let's eat all of it in one fell swoop. So HP, 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 HP. Blood packs we're going to save. Buff out cram, crispy squirrel bits, dandy boy apples, iguana bits, which is a major thing in Fallout 1, by the way. Instamash, uh, mole rat meat. Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola, Quan, do not consume these. We'll consume the Nuka-Cola, though. Pork and beans, Psycho Purified Water, Radex, Radaway, Radroach Meat, Salisbury Steak, Scotch. Uh, I don't think we're going to be a drinker. I think we'll get, we're going to drop drop the alcohols. Stealth Boy and Yao Gwai Meat. Damage plus 10%. Rads plus 8 HP plus 12. Ooh, I didn't realize that that had a damage buff. Neat. Okay, let's go to Rads. How many Rads do we have? 86. So we can press 80, use a Radaway, and go back down to 5. 
fantastic. Let's hold tab to get our pit boy light out, which we pretty much need permanently since this game is quite dark. Let's hold R to put our gun away. I think you do move a little bit faster, it feels like, although I'm still not sure if that's a mechanic or not. Aha! Blood pack, rat away, and a stim pack. So lovely when you can just take everything and not garbage that you don't want in your inventory. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what is in Great Itch of Worth. If there are any skill books, clearly we already found one. Bobby pins, vodka, whiskey, empty whiskey. Yeah, so I think what I'll do... I think I just accidentally took all that. I sure did. Let's drop those real quick before we forget. Uh, let's see. You and... I think the other stuff's in aid. Yeah, vodka, vodka, whiskey. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I think what I'll do is whenever we find a new um, a new area like Great Itch, I'll take a look at the wiki and see if there's anything at all worth finding and write it all down whenever we find, like, a new town or anything. Uh, well, I'm not sure, because usually what I do is near the end of the playthrough, I'll track down any unique stuff that we ended up missing and, like, you know, get it all in one fell swoop. But anyway, we'll do that later. For now, let's keep exploring this quest. So we found Brian's dead father. And now we need, and he had a shack key on him, which obviously goes to this. Open door to recently built shack, which is an interesting distinction now, isn't it? Okay, we've got a metal box with pre-war money. Remember, take all the pre-war money you find because it weighs nothing, but it is, but it does have a value. So obviously you just stockpile that stuff. Notice it's illegal to sleep on that bed, or I guess frowned upon. This is the, uh... This is the wasteland, so how the heck is it going to be illegal? We've got a terminal there, an empty desk, a suitcase. Uh, so yeah, you could interact with these in New Vegas, but I guess not, you can't do that in Fallout 3. We've got Dr. Lesko's password recording there, which just ro robbed us of hacking into that terminal, if we could, now that we have some science. So yeah, kind of good to to crack it and then grab that, but, you know, whatever. We'll be able to make it up. Okay, uh, let's play this. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formicidae. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Okay, well, he never destroyed the holotape. Sounds like Dr. Lesko's a bit forgetful. Now, before I forget, I'm going to make a save here. And then I'm going to fast travel back to the Robco facility and attempt to hack into that. So we're going to go back to that quest. If we go to items, if we go to stats, actually, and skills... Our science is at 42. So actually what we do is we go to items and we go to mentats. Oh, we already had some. What the heck? Uh, perception plus 5, int plus 5. So massive boost to special skills, perception and int. And int dictates science, right? So we hit one of those and we go to stats. And how much science do we have right now? 46 plus? Wait, was it 46 before though? Hold on, let's load. Oh, so this one doesn't even tell you what how much it adds. That's kind of lame. Item, uh, stats, skills, so we still had, oh, we had 42, okay, so then wait, it doesn't stack, right, if we do mentats, 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 do we somehow have, yeah, so that sucks, so we're still four off, so all it does is give us a bonus of four, wow, with five intelligence, but I guess that's because it doesn't go past, what, ten, because, yeah, we should have, like, maxed out intelligence, shouldn't we, okay, so that sucks, that's why I made the save, though, before I fast-traveled over to, uh, back to the Robco Center. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep going along with this, which now we, of course, know the know the password to. Activate Dr. Lesko's term. Oh, it's not even locked, though. What the heck? Oh, I think because if you know the password already, I guess it just locks you in. Activate Science Robot. Science Robot Command. Input personal notes. Let's read those first. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Perhaps I simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions, or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula soon, or I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Sample location discovered. I've found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. I've set up shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming on my robot and it will be ready to perform the delicate injections. Soon I will prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. 
Uh, yet another hippie tree hugger scientist with an experiment gone wrong. Seen this a thousand times. Dangers. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I've heard the re rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recording is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. My search continues as I tweak the formula. Okay, so clearly, things aren't as surface level as they seem. Something else is happening here in Great Itch. Uh, let's do activate science robot. Error pod empty. Science robot command to put error robot out of range. I was going to say, I did not see a robot there, did I? How do I leave this uh, escape? Wait. How do you actually leave a terminal? Tab? Uh, e? Oh, I guess you click the... Okay, you literally click the button. Uh, let's put it this way. Yeah, so there was a robot here, but it's gone. Uh, all right, let's take a look at our notes. Dr. Lesko's notes. That's just what we read, right? So we got quests, those, investigate Marigold Metro Station, and remove the source of the fire ants, uh, which is what we're going to do. So yeah, this quest is great as are most quests in Fallout 3. Fallout 3 side quests are like my favorite part by far, if I remember correctly. Now, it's been a long, long, long time, which is why I'm so excited to re-experience this. But, uh, yeah, from what I remember, that's easily the best part. Okay, and remember, if we can aim accurately enough to shoot those antennae, antennae, we'll be able to get these ants kind of on our side. Not really, but, you know, make them an agent of chaos at least. Okay, let's try a grenade and see how much damage we do. we got to practice these anyways. Five, six. Okay, here we go. Perfectly timed grenade. Uh, I'm going to try to cook it. Yeah, it does not seem like they cook, but if I hold it, like, I'm just gonna die. It is so hard to freaking land these correctly, man. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem, actually. Yeah, see, they just do their own thing. They bounce wherever the hell. It's so weird. Okay, one more. Oh. Alright, oh. that's great. Let's go back to, what, five? Wanted to check out that, uh, wanted to check out that little, uh, parking lot over there. But let's talk to Brian real quick and see if we can update him. Come on, tell me already. I don't know if I can, kid. Looks like I can't. Please be careful. I don't want you to die either. I don't want to die either, Brian. You're a good kid. Just stay there. I'll try to complete this quest fast. Okay, those. Investigate Marigold Metro Station. Where is that? We don't even get a... No, way. We don't even get a, a quest marker? No way. Doesn't say shit. What? Investigate Marigold Metro Station. Remove the source of the fire ants. You literally don't get a quest marker for that? That's insane. Well, we got a whole bunch of areas near us. Uh, Okay, let's see. Let's check the... Check the world map. Marigold Station. Okay, yeah, it's there. That's bizarre. Why would it not just point us in that direction? I don't know, but okay. Yeah, all right. Well, this is going to be tough because the fire ants are ranged and our ranged options are incredibly weak. We, of course, do have the fire land. Somebody left a comment that they don't like how I don't show new stuff. I think it's just because I like keeping everything clean. If you've noticed my play style, for instance, like I don't like switching to different stuff just because I've got all my hotkeys and everything. I know what to switch to and I don't want to waste ammo. But yeah, I will show it off. I do think that's a valid point is that we should uh, show off, you know, new unique weapons. So here's the fire lance. Max condition effects minus HP2 for five seconds. It was like 10 damage of dot time. And somebody also mentioned that there's like, what, 25 or so energy cells that drop. So yeah, we did miss some. They might be in the river. But as they said, yeah, it's probably not worth it. So yeah, I have one of these in real life. It's so cool. If you pop by into the stream and mention it, I will show it uh, live because it's behind me. But let's do one of these. Bah! Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with this, I guess. I don't want to waste the ammo. There is other ways to get the ammo, obviously, but not for a long, long time, most likely. Bah! Okay, so let's take a look at the DPS, or the dot, I mean, the damage over time. Uh, okay, it's all right, I guess. I don't know how good this thing is supposed to be. Let's go back to this, and then go like, bruh! I said like, bruh! Yeah, man, it's crazy. I, th I figured, like, I've never not had small guns, because that's kind of the bread and butter. That's kind of the bread and butter of Fallout, right? But, so I figured, like, okay, well, if we don't have small guns, how bad could it be? It's probably just, you know, it's probably still easy to land your shots. Uh, no. The spread is so insane. That is genuinely a challenge. 
That's got to be an interesting playthrough, like no accuracy playthrough. I don't know how fun that would be, though. You've discovered Mirror Gold Station. That's one for you, and... Okay, we got, what, 10 more shots left? Okay, into Marigold Station we go. My least favorite part about Fallout 3 is definitely the, definitely the, uh, the, 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 the metro stations. But that's all right. We'll make it happen. Uh, hi. No, 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 no. Get that away from me. I don't want that. Okay, go back to six. Here, I, did, I just need one of you to land to prove that you're usable. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll get a little bit better with these. Let's try to... Let's try to let's try to use these until we get get the hang of these grenades. But yeah, grenades definitely do not seem viable at all, which is unfortunate because I feel like that is the explosives bread and butter until you get some explosives and heavy weapons. Oh. Probably don't want to waste the grenades on these little guys. But that works. Okay, what's over here? Wait! Oh no, did I forget about something? I don't think I did. Okay, I was kind of worried for a second. Oh, this room might explode. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that's very, very satisfying. Uh, we have no quest marker at all, so we just need to explore until we find what we're looking for. Metro ticket. Yeah, if something tells me, like I said, you want to take those. I forget if that's true or not, but we'll just take them anyways because I don't think they weigh anything. Got a mind box here. I'm going to force the lock because I'm feeling... No, I'm not feeling lucky at all, actually. Uh, how do you... Oh, yeah, A and D. Yeah, remember, I've never played this. I've never played Fallout games with mouse and keyboard, so it's going to take me still get some getting used to with the, with this control scheme. Ep, ep, ep. There we go. Frag mines. Yes, please. Metal box with conductor and railway spikes. We have a mine box with three frag mines as well. Looks like nothing else in this room, really. Uh, that's continuing to go down unless it's a dead end. Okay, we got two options here. Hi, that's for you. How did that not kill him? What? Huh? What is going on here? Is he just somehow getting past the hitbox? There we go. That makes a little more sense. All right, let's just keep going this way. We can go back and explore the other route if we uh, if we need to. Hiya! Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's switch over to eight. We can at least line these up easily enough. Yeah, if you'd step right on that death disc. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, one more, and then Ow. one more past Ow. that. Ow. Oh, my God. Imagine if the fire set off those mines, like, right in our hands. That's how playing Halo Infinite was every time I grabbed. How did you not? What is happening with the hitbox with these explosives? Every time, like, I would grab one of those fusion cells in Halo Infinite with the grappling hook on legendary difficulty, a grunt would just, like, shoot it and immediately explode me every single effing time. If you watch that on stream, you know my pain. Okay, let's see. Any lockers with stuff inside of it? Seven bottle caps, a metro ticket, and pre-war money. Very nice. GV, did you know that you can take all? Yes, I know, but sometimes my brain does not recognize. You know what I mean? Until I've already taken everything. A yoink, and a yoink, and a yoink. Like that right there. Uh, what else do we have? A lawnmower blade? I feel like we want that. I don't know if we have one of those yet. Ten millimeter rounds, some railroad spikes, pack of cigarettes, and a sensor module. Nothing in the metal box. Nothing on the table over there. All right, this will be where we stop for now, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we'll continue on the, uh, with this quest, which I like a lot, if I remember correctly, but also was very scared of as a kid. <sighs> remember that liking the videos and leaving comments and subscribing with the bell turned on all helps out this channel grow. And thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for supporting me in what I do. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. <gasps>